All right, guys, we are headed to the shop to get some chainsaws and stuff. We're down here getting ready to take care of this tree. It fell over during this uh, big wind storm we had. Uh, it is, I think, probably going, it's probably five. It's no warmer than 10 degrees out here, Fahrenheit, that is. But uh, we had a tree uproot and uh, head down to the shop, get the saws and stuff. We're going to take care of it. It's on uh, my personal property. And I hadn't had any calls from any of my, anybody wanting some, getting the tree up out of the yard or anything like that. I've got a couple people calling, want me to do some gutter cleaning, but uh, that's not too high up on the priority list. So we'll get back to them uh, maybe this coming, end of this coming week, get that set up. Come on, Kyler, I need you. They're going to yard down in Florida right there, boy. I get it. Hundreds of them. Oh. Let's see, where is that thing at? <clears throat> ten inch, ten inch. All right, you can't, don't be making a bunch of racket, Kyle. Where is that other chain? Alright, anyway, uh, don't, look, don't be messing with that. <clears throat> well, that other chain, here, I need you to hold this, uh, camera for me. not too cold in this building. <laughs> what? What? If cats get hungry in the wintertime, boy. Huh? Look at that squirrel. Dead oh, squirrel. Dad. Sorry. I didn't do it. You, you daggone cats did it. That's how them things survive, boy. Yeah, but they can eat cat food. Oh, yeah. They like, they have to carry the world. Give the rest of this call to them. They need food to survive. I'm gonna show up. I'm just gonna go ahead and take his uh, bar off. And uh, dirty that he is in there, wow. Just sharpen the chain that's already on it. And what we're going to do, we're going to sharpen it at, we sharpen our chains at around 15 to 20 degrees. They like um like the opposite way. 
Upside down? Yeah, upside down. Yeah, it, it doesn't really matter, bud. That's another great question. It doesn't matter what way the bar is facing, as yeah. long as you have an oiler hole and a hole for your tensioner. The only thing that really matters. What if you want to like see the words? If you want it right side up, then yeah. yeah. All right. Here, let's make sure it's got oil. Bar lubricant. Which, it's a little low. Let's go ahead and throw some in there. You're doing so good, Bubba. Okay, right there. Yeah, make sure it's got some gas in it. And it's it? full, because I see it right there. Oh, All right, let's take it outside and see if it's current. I know they are. Chainsaw, left chainsaw running from the garage to the tree. That way it'd warm up. I mean, it is freezing out here, guys. <laughs>
All right, we're down here at this tree we were uh, just working on the other day, yesterday, matter of fact, and uh, I don't know what happened to the GoPro, but it just kind of shut off on me. And uh, I thought it was recording as I was sawing this thing up, but it didn't. Anyway, we've got it all sawed up, got the lens drug off, and uh, what we're gonna do now, but I was just thinking, instead of dragging this stump out of the ground and all, what I'm gonna do, or attempt to do, is put a chain around it, get the tractor, stand it right side, you know, stand it right side up, and uh, just cut it off as low to the ground as uh, we possibly can. That way there's not a giant hole in the ground, plus everything's frozen over. And so, like I said, we're just going to stand it up and uh, cut the tree off as close as we can and uh, see what that looks like. So what we need to do now is go to the barn, get the tractor, and uh, let it warm up and get the chains and all that. Get me. Let's go on here. No, you didn't. You said get me. Oh. All right. What we're going to do is, uh, got to check the oil first. Yep. She got enough keep from clanging anyway. Alright guys, we are headed to the fuel, get some fuel for the tractor, and uh, we'll see you when we get there. Hey guys, look at this. Got the, we're the three stooges packed in this thing. He the ninja. Okay guys, here we are pulling up to the pump. All right, here comes the sun on the tractor bringing it. Get the chain. Got a five inch swipe of ice out right here. Kids are down here trying to chop their foot off. <laughs> No, 
don't. All right, let me see. Let me see. You know, you gonna watch careful, guys, or watch? All right, guys, it's slow process. Had to get the big chainsaw out until there was a rock growing inside of this door of the blade. So I think that will help us. I'm gonna chip away a little bit more at this with the uh, pickaxe and kind of loosen some of that dirt up. If it doesn't give, then I'll just go ahead and cut that off we'll get the front end loader down here and just kind of dig this up hey stop
guys again thank you for watching this video this uh tree uprooted tree took us probably about i'd say about two hours one hour to cut it up and one hour to uh, get everything tidied up get the stump pulled out and get everything swept up and raked up and looking good but we're going to get these tools put up, get the tractor put back up in the barn. And guys, we'll see you on the next one. Uh, adios, amigos. Adios, amigos. Well, you got to put your hood on out uh, like you're uh, a gangster or something. Adios, amigos. <laughs> Bye, guys.